it, it would have to come from the fans. And Danny, how would this fight prepare you for, like, in the future, Triple G and Canelo? Well, this guy is sharp. Uh, he's young, too. He's younger than me, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so this guy is fresh. He's strong. He looks my height and fearless, too. looks fearless. I, I see it in his eyes. I don't see the same things I've seen in Arya's face. But that's exciting to me because yeah. I know that the fans are going to get their money's worth. I know it's not going to be a, well, it's all on Jacobs to look impressive, you know? Because when a guy is coming to fight, it's that much easier for it to be an exciting fight. Opposed to a guy holding and it's just expected from one guy. Was, uh, yeah, for What's sure. the transition like from Luis Arias that, you know, he was talking a lot for the build of the fight. Going to this fight, he's more professional, this opponent. What's your take on that? You know, does that motivate you less, motivate you more of a, of a guy talking a lot during the free hike? Um, I just think everything is working out perfectly. I think it was the right amount of motivation when he did it because I just came off for a fight, a big fight, and I needed to get something to kind of get me up because people are expecting me to come and fight even though he's undefeated you know he wasn't the top 10 you know so I had to get my mind prepped for that and I think his trash talking kind of did it but with this guy uh, I, I feel different it, it, it feels different it almost feels as if he's really a big threat and I have to take him you know accordingly and I have to prep and train for this guy how did you see Billy Joe Saunders last performance against David Lemieux were you good. impressed I won't say I was impressed I expected him to do it but he looked good yeah in terms of I don't know if you saw Sean Porters, what, what he did his confrontation with Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia. Is that something you might do if you can't get those no, fights? No, never. Mandatory? I'm sorry. <laughs> Sean Porter's my boy. I love him to death. But yeah. I can't do that. It's like, you know, I have people to represent me. I don't need to put myself in a position to either make myself look bad or make it look controversial. I'm not a controversial type of guy. My hands are supposed to speak for me. Oh, sorry. Yeah, On behalf right. of AV Boxing, I found very intriguing that, you know, a lot of welterweights like Spence, Thurman, and Danny Garcia are willing to quote middleweights like Canelo. They want to move up to 160, but yet they don't call names like yourself, Danny Jacobs. Because I'm a that. true, true middleweight. Yeah. Canelo is not a real middleweight. Um, he's still growing into the way. I mean, he's had some time, but, you know, these guys know who they can beat or if they have a chance against. But the power difference is night and day when it comes to uh, me and Canelo. So that's why these little guys are able to call him out and not me. If those names are presented to you yeah. in the future, are Ooh. you willing to, let's say, Spence, Thurman? Come on, man. No. Okay. It just doesn't make sense, man. Okay. I mean, if they was to come up and have a couple fights, but yeah. no, nah, that's what's gonna say okay. if he knocks out. I'm, I'm, that's like I'm a bully, man. I'm not gonna be a bully. <laughs> of course. Would you like to be a sport? You have time to reflect on your first experience with Matchroom Sports and Eddie Hearns. Can you just tell us what you liked about that that first fight with uh, Matchroom Sports? It probably was the most promotion I've ever got in my entire career on one particular card. Um, it was awesome, you know. I've seen my face on so many different ads and promotion, and I mean, this is what we live for. This is what fighters work hard for, you know, to be the superstar, you know. We do everything we can inside the ring, but outside, it's not really up to us. So when you build yourself, when you clash with a good promoter who can bring your story to the world, that can build your brand, you know, through these different promotional things, and it's amazing. You know, I'm in a really good position. I know a lot of boxers right now are just like, you know, what's you, going on? You, you're, you're back in Brooklyn, April 28th. What's the feeling like coming back to the Barclays Centers after probably like a year, right? Brooklyn to... in the house. <laughs> it goes without saying, man. I'm a Brooklynite, born and raised. So. Yeah. Walkout song, MLP? Nah, we, I don't know what we're going to do now. We might, we, we might do something. <laughs> What's up, bro? How you doing? Jacob, Jacob, he was the yeah. first uh, U.S. superstar to sign with Matthew Sports. How does it feel like stars like Amir Khan are signed with uh, Eddie Hearns as well? So you're the leading force going into the um, I don't know. I, I feel like I am doing something right, though. I feel like um, everything is in place for me to stay active. Everything is in place for me to have very lucrative fights and take care of myself and my family. Um, and the promotion, most importantly, is at an all-time high. So I think I'm in a really, really good position. The fact that uh, these guys are kind of, you know, following the same steps is not surprising. Can you break down the fight between Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz March 3rd? Good fight. Um, I don't know if Ortiz would be able to take uh, Deontay's punches, but if he could, it would definitely be a good fight because he's, he's a tough opponent.